Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Still segment here at Trimble. And today I'll be showing a new feature that's been added into Tecla. I've been showing it at a couple uh, user events and conferences and have gotten a lot of questions as to how to create this. So I wanted to put this video together to document it. And basically what we've done is we've added in the ability to export all of the drawing annotations and overlay those into the 3D model so that you can view the 3D model with the annotations in relation to that. So here's an example here within Trimble Connect. If I come in here to a top view, you can see here that I have the 3D model, but then I've exported just the annotations, so the dimensions, the piece marks, that sort of stuff, that I can overlay here and view it within the context of the 3D model. So I can see all the spacing, the piece marks, and that sort of information uh, very easily here within the model. So this is just an entire general arrangement drawing that I've overlaid. Now uh, we can also do the same thing on the individual assembly level. So before I do that, I'll just go ahead and show you here. So these are the annotations that I've exported. So it strips out the model geometry and it just exports, like I said, the section marks, the piece marks, the dimensions, the weld symbols. And then if I come in here and toggle on the 3D model, I'm able to view all of that in context or in relation to that. So I can easily see here, here's the weld symbol, where that's supposed to be welded, the piece mark, and that sort of information. I can spin this around and view it any way that I want. I can also come in and just use these uh, preset views here. So if I want to view top down and view this and perhaps adjust the transparency so that I can see through that and see the dimensions there. And then I can just easily spin that around or just continue to load these different views as I want to view them. So here I can see my running dimensions and then I can just quickly spin that around. So this was all created within Tecla Structures, exported into Trimble Connect desktop, which I'm viewing right now. We can also view that in Trimble Connect HoloLens, which is what I'll show here at the end of this presentation. But let me jump into Tecla and show you how this was created. So the first thing that we want to do is open up our advanced options and we're just going to make sure that we have a setting here. So I'm just going to search for DWG in all these categories. And then here, this is the one that I want to set is that I want to be able to export my DWG in the 3D model coordinates. So I'm just going to come and toggle this to true. As soon as I have that set, then I can just go ahead and hit OK. And then everything else will work as needed. So what I'll do first is come in and just export an IFC file of the entire structure. We're just going to recreate the same project that we just took a look at. And then I can configure this with any settings that I want. We already have a pre-saved setting right here called Trimble Connect. If you want to come in and load that, then it will configure some property sets that Trimble Connect likes to see as far as the assembly information. It's also going to set the options here for the assemblies to bring in the bolts and the welds. If there's things that you don't want, just go ahead and uncheck those so I won't bring in my grids. And then I can give this a name. Let's just call this steel model, for example. And I'm going to export all the objects and the location will be by the model origin. That way, when we export the annotations from the drawing to the DWG file, everything will line up when we view it in Trimble Connect. So I'll just go ahead and export that. While that's finishing, the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to export just an individual IFC assembly like we were looking at. So that B4 that we were looking at, uh, for example. So I could select that and create an IFC file, but we also have a more automated way, which is coming to use one of our extensions called the Assembly Exporter. What this does is it will go through and it will create an IFC file for all of the assemblies that you have in the model, either from your selection or from all, and it will automatically name those the name of your assembly. So you'll have a b1.ifc, a b2.ifc, and it will just go all the way through your model and create that. Typically, when that's created, it creates the IFC file based on its local coordinate system. So it'll be at 000. So if you bring it into an external product, um, it won't be all the way out in space. But we have an option here where you can come in and use the global coordinate. So if I set that, now when I export my IFC file, it will align with the DWG file that we're going to export as well. So let me open up the document manager here. And we'll just choose one of these assemblies. So uh, I believe it was B4. So let me just select that. That's illuminated there within the model. And then I can come in here and just say that I want to create this from selected. So it goes through and it creates that 
assembly file. So we'll look at where all this stuff is stored here in a minute when we bring that into Trimble Connect. So now we have our IFC files generated. The next thing that we need to do is create our DWG files. So let me just go ahead and have this before. I already have it highlighted. So let's just go ahead and click on export here from the document manager. What this will do is it will launch the DWG exporter here. And then this is where that advanced option is going to come into play. It's going to export this drawing with just the annotations to a DWG file. So the way that I'm able to get just the annotations instead of the model geometry, for example, let me just show this preview here. So right now, if I were to export this drawing, you see, you'll be able to see that I'm going to get everything that's visible here. So I'm going to get the title block, the bill of material, the, the geometry for the beam and the shear plates and that sort of stuff, which I don't want. So what I can do, I have a safe setting here, which is just called uh, t the TC overlay. And if I just refresh that preview, you can see that it's going to strip out all of that information except for the dimensions, the section marks, the weld symbols. But the nice thing about it is that for my sections that were cut, it's going to automatically align those to where the section was cut from. And so if I just look here at the layer rules here, and I'll just expand this. You can see what I'm doing here. Is that I'm telling it I just want to see the dimensions, uh, the marks, I don't want the drawing table, I don't want the drawing frame, and I don't want the model object. So that's what's going to be included when I run this export. Another thing that I need to make sure that I set is I need to change my model space coordinates from local to model, and that way the advanced option will overlay these in 3D. So I'll just go ahead and click on export, and it will create those there within my model folder. And then we'll do the general arrangement drawing as well. So that's where that's been placed. So let's go ahead and choose the other one. I'll just close that. It'll reopen. I'll just click export. I could do these at the same time, but I'll just show you how we do it individually. So once that's loaded in, I'll just do my TC overlay. And that's going to change to my model. That's going to use my layer rules. And then I'll just go ahead and click on export. That's going to create this DWG for my E1. So once that has completed, I'll just go ahead and close this. And now we have everything that we need. So let's go back into Trimble Connect and we'll create a brand new project. So I'll just click on new and let's just call this TC overlay and I'll just create project. And now I can just start adding in that information that we've created. So I'll just go ahead and say we want to add some files. So let's go to where this model is. So my C drive, Techless Structures Models. And then my IFC file. So here I can come in. This is the structural steel model. I can load that in. And then let's go ahead and choose the rest of my files. So we did the assembly exporters, the extension. So there's the B4. That's the individual assembly that we exported. And then let's go find those DWG files. So here's my E1 and my B4. I'll just go ahead and open those. And now I should have everything recreated that I can view those. So let's just go ahead and click on view. That will load in my model. And then over here under the model selection, let's just pull everything else in and we can toggle these on and make sure that it's working as anticipated. So let's view this E1 and I'll just change the color to make it easier to see. And it looks like everything's loaded. When I do this, I like to work just in the orthogonal. I don't like the perspective. It doesn't work very well. And then just a little tip here in Trimble Connect Desktop, if you hold down Alt and double click on a surface, it will align your view to that surface. So now I can see the drawing here overlaid. I have my piece marks and profiles and everything, and I'm able to view this all together. So that worked well. So let's hide these. If I just hide the model again, you can see this is just what was exported. And then let's turn on B4 and the drawing. Again, I'll change the color here so we can see that. And then I can see here everything overlaid just as anticipated. So now that this is in Trimble Connect, I can also come in and view this on the HoloLens device. So let me switch over to that and we'll be able to view uh, what this looks like on HoloLens. So here I am in one of our conference rooms just looking around with the HoloLens device on. So I'm just going to say, hey, Cortana. Open Trimble Connect. And it'll go ahead and launch Trimble Connect. Once that's open, then I can begin just opening these models just like I was. So I'll just click on the TC overlay. 
let that load in the project there and then I'll be able to view those files that we've uploaded. So first let's just choose the steel model and then the erection drawing that will overlay that plan drawing. And then when I click on those to view those, it will then bring them into the model and I can adjust the scale. I can view it in full scale one to one and align it with a structure if, if I'm there on site or I can just set it in this example. Let's just go ahead and change this scale to one to five just to make it easier to see. So I can do a long pinch and then be able to open up this dialog box that will let me adjust the scale. And then I have other options up here where I can move and rotate and that sort of stuff. So I'll just go ahead and move this down a little bit and rotate it so that it'll be easier to see. So let me just move this down here just a smidge. And then now we can basically just walk around and view this in context of the real world. So here I can view again all the annotations overlaid with the assemblies there i can easily see the stair the grid dimensions the spacing and that sort of stuff if i want to continue to move this around i can do that or i can just walk and interact with this and view anything on the structure that i want to see so great use for on site or out in the shop so let's go ahead and look at this shop assembly so let's go back to the project where we loaded the models and then I'll just choose here the DWG and the IFC file for the individual assembly. And then same thing, I can choose where I want to position this here. So if I'm in the shop, for example, now I can view the 3D assembly of what I'm trying to create with the annotations in relation to it. And I can rotate this around or I can just simply walk around this object and view what's needed. So I'll just hide that dialog box there. And now here I can see the weld symbols, the bolt callouts, the dimensions, and that sort of stuff, but also the assembly that I'm trying to create. So great application here. Since this is an IFC file, we can also view the property sets just like we could in Tecla or in Trimble Connect desktop or web or mobile, for example. So here if I just open up my contextual toolbar again, I can click on properties, choose the object, and then it just loads in all those property sets that we included with the export. So here I can see the length, now the weight, the volume. I can also come in and just view the assembly mark. So I know that this is my B4. And then if we wanted to see some additional information like the elevation, for example, we could view that as well. So here's bottom elevation, top elevation, and the phase that it's in. So great context there. So anyway, this is uh, how you can achieve this uh, DWG overlay. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.